Hi everyone and welcome, I'm Snookus and this is a new series called, uh, well I haven't named it yet, but it is about a game called Endless Space 2. And I've um, played some of the Endless uh, games, I've played a lot of Ender Legend, I played some Endless Space 1. I didn't really get into the first Endless Space, I don't really know why, it was probably about... Um, I don't know, it felt like they tried to do very little while also trying to... They tried to abstract things that didn't need to be abstracted while trying to be very intensive and therefore I found the games like Stellaris to much, be much easier to get into. But anyway, I got this um, the other day and I've had some fun with it so I thought i make a series on it and uh, maybe some of you would appreciate that as well. And just as a head up, heads up uh, right away, the music is fantastic, and I um, sometimes when I play games which have uh, worse soundtracks, which kind of mindless games like maybe E4 or something, I um, through the Steam um, interface I sometimes uh, turn on endless legends and endless space music simply because it's so good, it's fantastic, and I'm not really sure what level I want it on. Because um, I'm gonna leave it at 20 uh, as of now, because it does uh, vary quite a bit in volume. But anyway. Okay, apparently. Okay, sorry. Okay, so we are going to be. Taking over the galaxy may be a little risky, but it's fun. They all have and these um, intro as we cleanse the narratives, and narrations. But choose science. Choose right. We're gonna play choose as the, the or Sophons. They are um, technology focused, uh, kind of uh, tall empire building species. Doesn't it doesn't have as easy of a time to expand, but they are quite adept at getting um, technology fast and being better developed than enemies. So even though you might have a smaller fleet, your fleet might be better or heavier um, and pack a bigger punch, essentially. And um, yeah, that's the idea anyway. The only thing I kind of disagree with in their design of this game is their voices are just ridiculous. They sound like some kind of comical um, character in like a Disney movie or something. Uh, while it, I'd like them to be kind of more alien in their appearance, um, their audio appearance anyway. Their uh, physical appearance, as you can see here, is quite nice. But uh, there are some, um, how many is it? There's uh, eight uh, empires as of now, which you can play. They all have their own niche. The Lumeris, which I played with a bit, uh, are very trade focused and uh, get a lot of dust, which is this uh, game's um, currency. The Horatio. Um, I don't really know how they play, but essentially the, the whole race is just one guy that clone himself over and over and over. And the United Empire is uh, regular humans, but super uh, war, um, war focused and industrial focused. But anyway, we, uh, we're gonna launch in right away. These are the ship classes, which you can get as uh, the hulls as you can get, that you can get as the sofans. Um, the softens also also give um, particular effects that the population does. Some the blue um, symbol is science. So we get extra science on cold and uh, in general. We also um, have a lot of we have a faction affinity and we have uh, some extra buffs um, and attributes as our empire. And you can also create your own custom faction. Uh, in which you can either choose, um, you get to choose, I can actually show you. You can name them whatever you want, you can get, give them an affinity and you also give them a lot of um, traits. So you can essentially create your own empire, but you have to use one of the profiles of um, the other empires. And you can choose your government form and everything. But it's uh, that's fun to play around with if you want to do some replays. I'm going to lower the music I think again. As I said, the, the volume varies a lot. But anyway, we've already spent five minutes, so let's just uh, jump in right away. 
We're gonna place the soul funds. Uh, and for that we wanna be blue. <clears throat> and let's see here. Oh, Christ. The Sophonity, where science There's eight empires in total, so let's have seven competitors. Um which are we missing? I think we're miss missing the Lumeris. Yeah, we were. And I kind of want to keep them. Choose science. Choose recklessness. Choose the softens. I kind of want to keep them um, with their given. Christ, I keep doing that. Uh, Come on. With their why not join the smart choose the cleansing even light. colors so okay so maybe make lumeris orange and yudani well now i don't know purple sure we are not the yudani we are the soul funds and we are gonna world. be blue and we are gonna be the only blues so let's make you pink sure okay so normal speed uh, minor civilization difficulty normal Game difficulty normal, normal session, mo single session mode, um, custom factions. We aren't playing multiplayer, so that doesn't really matter. Um, you don't need to name the session. You can choose a lot of different uh, galaxy shapes. Um, we're gonna play with the spiral four with four arms, which is kind of my personal um, favorite, both here and in Stellaris. Unlike Stellaris, the um, the stars. And the system doesn't really align with the arms anyway. It's mostly um, aesthetic, um, aesthetics, but it's nice to have anyway. Uh, you can, for gameplay, for simple gameplay reasons, you can choose whichever of these you want. Uh, we're gonna go with few constellations. You can actually go into advanced here. Uh, node connectivity. You can hide. You can change a lot of stuff here. We're not gonna mess around too much. Um, I'm gonna play on the normal age, yeah, yeah, normal age. You know what? No, old age. I want to see what that is. Um, no turn timer. We're gonna speed up the animation speed because it can be quite uh, annoying to have to wait for that for the ship to go everywhere. Um. Sure, let's get a large amount of minor civilizations. Um, we're gonna lower the events because there's gonna be a, a lot of them. And I'm also only uh, taking the um, supremacy victory. Because I, me personally, I personally don't really appreciate the other conquest. Uh, I mean, scores are kind of arbitrary. Conquest, sure, that's a different kind of supremacy victory, I guess. Um, but also kind of arbitrary, because you can just conquer any given um, low importance uh, system anywhere and somehow win by that. Science, sure, and it's a very civilization-esque uh, victory condition. And I also kind of don't like that either. It's kind of hard to tell when another civilization is nearing a science victory. And they do have a screen for that in this game, but still... Same for economic and wonder. So we're just gonna go with uh, supremacy, the old school um, might is right. And yeah, I've deleted that enough now, so let's just go. Now we're just gonna see an intro of the Sofans, which uh, is kinda cool, so um, enjoy the ride. We're also gonna keep an eye on the FPS uh, counter here, because I am playing in 2K resolution, so I wanna see how that goes. If it's uh, too low, I might scale it down for the ne next session. Or not even the next session, the next video even. Uh, it's, um, okay, here we go. They have always been first, the Sophons. First to split atoms, mine asteroids, and capture the energy of the sun. There's two to crash their test rockets, trigger artificial earthquakes, 
and accidentally blow up their moon. Their great power has given them great irresponsibility. But through it, now, they're the first to create perfection. Me. Masters of science, they have crammed the cold, rocky homeworld of Hekim with glittering metropolises and great works of engineering that proclaim their genius. As the newest member of the Triumvirate, you face a future full of risks and challenges. But hey, that's where the fun is. More great discoveries await you. It All right, so um, I hope you kind of saw what I was talking about in re regards to the Sofans. I kind of feel like they simply made them into shorter humans in uh, spacesuits with their uh, clumsiness and irresponsibility and uh, science focus turned to 11. So they're, I mean, blew up the moon. It's all a bit cartoonish, um, I feel. Anyway, uh, we just got a, a, a hero. So let's inspect this guy. Asuraini de Sulmaran. Sure, he's got a... I'm gonna assume it's a him, by the way. Maybe, it's, maybe they don't even have genders or whatever, I have no idea. Um, they all seem to be cheeky males anyway. Uh, he has a personal ship which you can um, change as the game goes on. I'm gonna lower the volume now. I can hear how it's a bit too loud. Uh, so, maybe 275 on both of these. Um, yep, apply. Anyway, um, He also uh, got a skill tree, and he hasn't got any available skill points, but uh, he's gonna get some. And uh, the Sofans are kind of focused on not so much on, on uh, fleet uh, maintenance, I'm gonna place this guy on uh, on our system. And he's most likely gonna stay there for um, most of the time. And just this last game, uh, you didn't see that, but um, I did start in the outskirts of the galaxy, and I did so now as well. Let's discard that. We have two fleets. We have a detector, which we can send on a auto explore mission, which we're gonna do. And we have an incubator, which is gonna colonize somewhere. So let's go to Indusa, why not? I mean, um, this is every time you discover a new system and zoom in on it, you're gonna have this, um, this pretty cool um, overview of all the planets. You can just click through it if you want to. And we're mostly gonna do that quite a lot, but uh, it's really cool to have the, um, the ability anyway. So the planet which we can colonize have below average food and industrial and barely any dust and no um, science, unfortunately. But uh, I'm guessing we're gonna go for it anyway. The incubator is over here, so let's go for it right away. Um, All right, cool. Um, it's quite important to get your. Um... Sorry here, why, why I while I work out uh, volume levels that we should have. Hopefully that's uh, satisfactory. Um, especially when playing the Sofons, I believe you kind of want to. Um, Increase your population numbers as soon as possible because your manpower is not gonna get boosted by anything really uh, Unlike some of the other races which get a, a bit of uh, boost in that regard Anyways, we should build something here on our planet. It's not uh, specialized And what I usually go for is the drone network and by the way if I'm uh, not min-maxing enough or anything 
feel free to tell me, but also uh, keep in mind that I've only played for like less than 10 hours. So it's, it's a bit, but it's not enough to have any greater idea. So we're gonna build the drone networks first, so we get extra food for um, uh, population growth and also for uh, future construction. And then we, after that we're gonna go for cerebral uh, reality I believe and to boost that science and then public private partnership which I've um, actually studied at uni that's fun anyway uh, okay so that's that and then now let's go for the research as the cell phones we've uh, already unlocked two uh, techs which others haven't and um... oh, oops did not mean to do that so this gives us um, ability to colonize some more and some other stuff. Let's... Oh, Christ. It's kind of hard to know when you're supposed to right click and left click. But one good thing about this game is any menu, you're in, any menu that you are in, you can simply right click and it will take you out of it. Um, anyway, so... Baryonyx shielding uh, will need to, uh, because you start in a cluster and from, to move from one cluster to another you need this uh, so that your ships essentially can jump without uh, hyperlanes. And we've got one here which is suggested. And I kinda agree. Let's go for it. It's gonna uh, allow us to colonize ice planets which our race both are our faction, um, our populations like to settle on ice and we also get extra um, extra science on ice. After that, um, I'm not really sure. Let's get this, we're gonna need it quite soon. As you, as you can see, uh, all the text you're clicking on is gonna queue up as well. I think focusing hard on science is, qu science is quite good. Um, you should uh, play to the strengths of, uh, of your faction. Uh, and then we need this to talk with minor races, with which we uh, got extra of. Um, I don't, I'm not really sure I agree with getting that. Um, this we need to explo explo exploitate um, this uh, resource, which I can't remember what it's called. It's called Hyperium. So um, we're in borderla Borderlands now, boys. Um, we are going to have some trouble uh, from my experience with finance. So we should try to get something with which gives us money I'm actually gonna assume that we're not gonna have any issue with I'm gonna take this actually uh, an, an issue with uh, warring nations in the beginning because we can simply be passive somewhat and we do have some ships which have limited military capability but it's not uh, enough to win wars um, Certainly, but it's enough to stave them off, I'm guessing at least. And I'm gonna go for this one just to uh, get some extra hull classes in the future. And then this one, so we can get some... Um, some um, extra weapons, uh, mod weapon modules for our ships. You also got extra map modes here, you can uh, have a trade map mode and if you zoom in you have the economy map mode and um, the squares correspond to the output of the system. So the more um, blue you have, the more science you have, um, purple is influence and you get it. Um, and you have the diplomacy, we haven't met anyone yet, but um, they will be co colored accordingly. And if you get trade companies, for example, you get to see the trade routes and stuff like that. So that's, that's quite cool. Anyway, we're gonna end the last turn here kind of in time to end the episode. So it might have been a bit of a slow start here and uh, I apologize for that, but uh, other than that I think, uh, I think it went fine.
Uh, please leave a like if you want to see more of this uh, content. I'm um, looking forward to playing it regardless, but uh, hopefully you want to watch me do it. And or otherwise, I don't know, leave, uh, leave any suggestions if you want to see anything else. And um, subscribe if you want to see more in general. So, see you next time. Bye.